this might be one of the last trips that I work for a while. Not used to this. I don't know how to act, don't know how to adapt to this situation. Are you coming, Luna? You wanna come say hi to everybody? Come on, up up. Hi everyone, it is 1.30 p.m. and I'm still hanging out in my pajamas. Today is March 20th. I'm gonna make a protein smoothie and I actually did get called into work tonight. You guys have seen me make this protein smoothie a lot. It's super simple, it's just frozen strawberries milk and i am gonna try this one up way coconut ice cream sample protein that i have so even though my trip i was called for is only a day trip and i should be back tonight by around midnight I'm still bringing food with me because honestly you never know when you could potentially get stuck somewhere you guys right there. I've been on call since 2 a.m. So our call shifts are 12 hours long. So I was on call from 2 a.m. until 2 p.m. today. When I first got my call this morning at 8 a.m. to come into work, I was expecting my usual two hour call out. We get two hours from the time that we are contacted by crew scheduling to go to the airport. However, my sign in is at 4 p.m. And I did ask the scheduler about that and I did look it up in our contract and I did not know this, but they can schedule us to work trips up to to two hours after our call shift ends. However, this is just a day trip, so I should be back home tonight around midnight. Oh, why is that going off? All right, so now I'm just gonna head to work. It's, oh my God, my phone just fell. Whew. <laughs> and I did want to give you guys just a little bit of an update. I did decide to take the voluntary leave of absence from work in April. So who knows, this might be one of the last trips that I work for a while. Just got to the employee parking lot. It's looking pretty gray out. And now I am on the employee bus, which will take us into the airport. There is like no one here. I think it's me and like two other employees on the bus and that's it. Wow, you guys, the airport is a lot emptier than it was the other day. Normally, the airport is only this empty either super early in the morning or late at night. Definitely not right now when it's midday. It's usually packed. I am heading over to my departure gate. We're going out of the 8 terminal. This flight to Las Vegas was originally supposed to take off this morning at 8 a.m. Obviously, it is extremely delayed. I have no idea why. I'm wondering if it's because of weather. We did have a severe storm here in Dallas. It was thunderstorming all night and this morning. However, that flight was so delayed that it had to be recruited because the previous crew went illegal. They timed out, hence why me and seven other flight attendants got called for this trip. We are flying on the big boy. We are flying on the 787 Dreamliner. Know my channel is travel based however i won't be traveling for the month of april so i did just quickly want to thank you all for your continued support of my youtube channel here whether i am traveling or not however i do still want to make sure that my videos are interesting for you all so if you have any video requests let me know what kind of content you guys want to see so gray is open and we have so many open seats on this flight. We're delayed a few hours, of course, but this is my coworker, Josh, What's up? and he is so nice. He got me a coffee from Starbucks. I told him not to, <laughs> fine. <laughs> I told him not to, but he did anyways. He's super nice. I don't know who you are, be like a piece of art. I want more, but better slow it down. Inside my mind is getting all too loud, I get scared. Look at how massive this galley is. It is seriously bigger than my kitchen. Here you guys can have a good view of how large this galley actually is. Just boarded our flight here in Dallas. We are currently being catered in the back. On this plane, we have two passengers booked up front and only 27 in the back. So total, we only have 29 passengers. Just 
got to Las Vegas and I just looked at my schedule and we're not gonna get back to Dallas until 1.25 a.m. I was just feeling pretty sad and nostalgic as we were taxiing out in Dallas. I almost started crying. It kind of just really hit me today, everything that's going on and the impact that it is seriously having on the job that I love. However, right after we took off in Dallas, I saw the most beautiful sunset from the window. And honestly, sunsets are one of my favorite views and I kind of just took it as a sign from God and the universe that we will all get through this. But on my flight here, I did meet two subscribers and I was able to give each of them a little Jetting Julia sticker. Both of these subscribers were flight attendant trainees and unfortunately they both had to leave training early and go home. And this is because of the virus and everything going around. Obviously the airlines are losing a ton of money and simply we just have, like I said in my previous videos, an abundant amount of flight attendants and and not enough trips to go around. I do know that there were plenty of training classes that were canceled this year and unfortunately it did get to them while they were already in training. If you are in this position, no matter what airline you are in training for or that you fly for, and if you have been temporarily laid off, just know that like my heart is with you. This is just a really, really sad time for so many different industries out there. But you know, all of this won't last forever. We will get through this and there's always light at the end of the tunnel. Let me spread your It is 1.18 a.m. Just got back to Dallas. Let me tell you, it was super eerie working on such a large aircraft without barely any passengers on the plane. I am definitely ready to get home. It is super late, but it is Friday night, so I do think Eric is still up. Luckily, he doesn't have work tomorrow. I always feel bad coming back home really late, especially if he has to get up early the next day. Good morning, everyone. Look at Luna straining against Eric, holding her to get across the street. She's not the best on the leash, but we're working on it. She's just too hyper and she wants to play. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Luna, run through a puddle. Good morning, everybody. So last night, I called Eric to see if he was still awake. And he was sleeping, so I feel really bad. I woke him up. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. And I was calling to see if he wanted Taco Cabana, like we had previously discussed. And he did not, and neither did I. I just wanted to come home. So now it is 11:30. We slept through breakfast. So now we are gonna go get Taco Cabana. I am on call today from 3 p.m. until 3 a.m. So we're gonna hope that I don't get called in for a trip. Hey there, can I please have one large chicken quesadilla, the three pack of steak street tacos, and four of the naked chicken fajita? Steak. Steak fajita tacos. And crispy shell. With the crispy shell. I need food, I need food. Just spent $34 on Mexican food. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> Thank you. No, Luna, no Mexican food for you. I swear food looks and tastes so much better when you're super hungry. <laughs> Luna. <laughs> Luna, stop it. Stop eating your leg, you weirdo. <laughs> Since I just checked my schedule and I don't have anything new on there, if crew scheduling does need me, they have to contact me by a phone call now. So I don't know why, I am just so tired today. So I'm hoping that I can just continue to nap with Miss Luna. It's 6.30 p.m. now, and honestly, I haven't done anything all day, and that's okay. Sometimes you need lazy days, but I am just about halfway done with this new book. It's called The Stranger, and it was turned into a Netflix show. So as you all know, I love reading books that are turned into TV shows and movies. This is a like psycho thriller book. It's, <clears throat> excuse me, it's really good so far. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a hot mess. Good morning, everyone. Miss Luna thought it would be fun to chase a squirrel outside, and now she is full of dirt. It is, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see anything. 4.09. It's 4.09 p.m., and my friend Nicole just tagged me 
on a handstand challenge on Instagram. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask all of you to write in the comments below some different challenges that you want to see me complete for the month of April while I'm home. I'm going to conclude this vlog here, but thank you everyone so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye.